Another thing I do is that I imagine myself as a child and I spend time with myself as my grown-up self. Do you understand what I'm saying? I, as myself right now, older, wiser, stronger, more mature, choose to spend time with my younger inner self. And I imagine sitting with myself and putting my own arm around my own younger self, talking to him and comforting him. We grow up, we become adults, but whatever version of ourselves that we are, we have all of the younger versions of ourselves within us. You know, the, the, the me from first grade is still in there somewhere. The me from high school, still in there somewhere. And now, as an independent adult free agent, I have the ability to sit with myself and comfort those, those versions of myself. Healthy people parent the younger versions within themselves by intuition and an unconscious understanding that it's now their responsibility to do this. Not, it's not anybody else's responsibility. So it's my responsibility to do this for myself. It's not oh some woman out there, some girlfriend. It's not anybody else. It's me. That responsibility belongs to me. It belongs to you if you're an adult free agent. If you're waiting for other adults to do this for you, you're going to be waiting a long time. And you shouldn't be because it's neglectful. You're neglecting your responsibilities to yourself. You can be your own parenting figure now. Healthy people, of course, have had the advantage of having had good role models for the proper way that they should parent themselves, such as not shaming themselves, being patient but not permissive, and so forth. The challenge for people who were raised in unhealthy families is that they did not have good role models. They were used to what they learned from their own parents, and that's, that's what they've got to inform their way of parenting their own inner children. So if unhealthy people were to continue parenting themselves, their, their younger versions of themselves, the same way they learned from observing the way their parents parented them as children, they'd just continue creating the same trouble for themselves that their parents did. I'm not creating a what-if scenario here. What I am doing is I'm describing what unhealthy people actually do. Think about the way you talk to yourself, how critical you are of yourself, how impatient you are with yourself. This is you taking your parents' parenting style, and you've taken that now, you're turning it inward, and you are treating yourself that way. You are imitating your poor examples. So there's more involved than just taking responsibility for parenting yourself, like I've described, parenting the younger versions within you. What do you have to do first? You first have to understand the healthy way to go about it. And more importantly, the principles and laws for why one way is healthier than another. This is what the Last Symptom Fundamentals course that I'm always telling you about primarily focuses on. So if you haven't taken that course, run over to thelastsymptom.com, check out the paid resources tab. It's a two-week intensive pre-recorded course, which is designed to help you learn how to do this for yourself. The proper attitudes to have toward ourselves at all stages of life. And really, this can help you tremendously to parent yourself well now. But it also focuses on the wise as well as the laws and principles that guide the, the attitudes that you should be developing. So if you can clearly see and understand the principles that guide an approach, then I don't have to give you a list of superficial things to do. You'll begin to understand for yourself the right approach because why? Because you'll understand the healthy laws and principles that guide that approach.